Good Friday lunchtime, everybody. We're in the last stretch, this last few hours now, and then we can do this till the rest of the weekend. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hope you're all well, hope you're keeping safe. Looking after yourself. So we're going to go back to work now because it's one o'clock, or nearly one o'clock, and let's get this done and then we can relax. Oh, Thai food tonight. Yep, moving on. Hi guys, that's the working day and the working week over. Now Michelle has now just clocked off for a very long weekend. She's got Monday and Tuesday off. She had to use up some of her holidays. Well, she didn't have to use up some of her holidays. She's using up some of her holidays before. They end up with loads for the week, uh, at the end of the year. And she decided to take May Day Bank Holiday off because I'm off at the time, that same time. But unfortunately, when she booked it, what she didn't realise is that the government's moved that bank holiday to Friday because of VE Day. So, Michelle's off Monday, Tuesday, and I'm off on Friday. Never mind. Anyway, Michelle's got an unboxing. So what I've got here is my first book from the Shelter Box Book Club. And this is actually a, a charity run initiative. You make a donation, a minimum of £10 a month, um, and every six weeks they'll send you a new book. There's a book group and you can join in and read and the um, donation money goes to um, help fund uh, disaster relief all over the world. It's a bit of a different book club to Fairy Loot because this one is actually stories from different perspectives, from different cultures. Um, and I'm really looking forward to giving it a go, so let's find out what it is that they've said. Because usually you get to vote on the book that the book group will read. There's three choices and you vote and then the one with the most votes wins. But I missed the voting and I've no idea what's in here. So let's see what they've sent me. Okay, so what they've sent me is Another Country by Anjali Joseph. It's been long listed for the Man Asian Literary Prize. 20-something Leela is trying to figure out what to do next, who to fall in love with and where she belongs in the world. The problem is, is that no matter where she goes, Paris, London, Bombay, or what she does, teaching or temping, dating or committing, life does not, doesn't appear to offer any straightforward answers. A poignant, evocative journey over two continents and through the adult spheres of work, sex and convenient friendships, another country is about growing up, moving on and discovering that what you thought you wanted is not what it seems. Sounds really good. Um, I got uh, a bookmark. I'm not getting a bookmark every time. You just get a bookmark with your first book. So we'll put that in there. You can never have too many bookmarks, can you? No. Then you get uh, a cover letter by the head bookworm at the Shelterbox Book Club, which covers a bit about the book and also a bit about what the charity is doing. Um, out in the world and more there's a magazine about what the charity has been doing and where the money's been going and yeah so I thought it looked like it might be quite good and it's also donating to charity and yeah so there you have it Charity Box, uh, Shelter Box Book Club. Okay guys, like we're saying at lunchtime, we're going to have Thai food tonight. Now we're not going to make it, we've actually ordered it from, uh, what's it called? Tiger Lily. No, it's 
it's really local. <laughs> it's really, basically it's a van, it's a van that drives around and it delivers in this area on Fridays, other areas. Normal, normally they um, they have like a, a van that they drive to an area and then they do, they do it um, in the van. But obviously because of social distancing and, and things like that, what they're doing is, is they're running a home delivery service. So. Okay, so this is what we've got. This is mine. And it smells amazing. It's something black bean stir fry, isn't it? Chicken black bean stir fry. Chicken black bean stir fry and we'll just put some extra uh, rice in it. And you want me to move out of the way so you can microwave your rice, don't you? I do, yeah. So that's me in trouble. You're not in trouble. Never in trouble. I made brownies. That's me bribed. Yeah, Michelle made brownies before. A pack. She actually, as soon as my disaster at cooking, she has decided to make brownie in a box. And they're just a bit squishy. Looks nice. Yeah, looking forward to them. You can have that with a bit of ice cream after. So, what did you get? Uh, oh, let's see it go out. Thai red curry, but I'll have to wait for the rice. Okay, we'll come back. Okay, guys, so Michelle's, we didn't order enough rice apparently. No, I didn't realise that the stir fry wasn't going to have like bean sprouts or yeah. something. So in. that's your Thai red curry. Yeah. So I am immensely looking forward to that. Now, is that really spicy? Uh, one way to find out. No. No? No. Good. I'll have a bit of one here as well then. <laughs> Actually, yeah, just a tad. <laughs> Give it a minute. It is spicy, yeah. <laughs> I've been sucking into that. Oh, that's good though, I like that. That's really nice, but unfortunately, your tongues are going to swell up in a bit. Going to go and eat that now. Moving on. Mm -hmm. 